Hania, Ace Fungus Whirling Pyro Fungus Pyro One Opponent's Profile. Hania, the strongest seeded contestant in this tournament, has been a beast tamer for at least a decade. It is said that the Sumter beasts trained by her are especially good-natured and intelligent, with many such beasts that carry heavy burdens having passed from her hands to those of merchants. Many ordinary people also seek her help in improving their relationship with their pets, with rather stellar results each time. It is no exaggeration to say that Hania is one of the greatest beast tamers around, and if she had a mind to promote herself, she would already be very famous indeed. Hania's trump card, Hyra One, is also evident of her great taming skills, for it belongs to a species of fungi with the greatest offensive capabilities out of all their kind. Even its simplest attacks can damage multiple opponents in an area, and when it goes all out, it can suck its opponents toward itself before using an explosion to dishing out some serious damage. However, with this great power has also come an explosive temper, which is why few ever place whirling pyro fungi into their teams, let alone have them serve as the core of such a team, so how's that for a raid? of Hania's skills, A. Eh? The day has finally arrived, Traveler and Paimon. I warned you not to get emotionally attached to the fungi. You have to treat them as your pawns. But it seems like you haven't changed one bit. In which case, this match will be a short one. show you how a real beast tamer fights. Your feeble strategy will be your undoing. Go, Pyro One!
dynamic duo! Hania and Pyro One are so strong together! Finally arrived, Traveler and Paimon. I warned you not to get emotionally attached to the fungi. You have to treat them as your pawns. But it seems like you haven't changed one bit. In which case, this match will be a short one. to show you how a real beast tamer fights. Your feeble strategy will be your undoing. Go, Pyro One! to reach their limit. Why did you hold back? Don't blame Pyro One, Hania. And don't force yourself to do something you don't want to. You started having second thoughts when Pyro One got injured during the semifinals, didn't you? You never met a well-matched opponent until you fought Miko and now us had you. So you never had to put Pyro One or any of your other fungi in danger before. When you saw one of your fungi get injured for the first time, you realized you felt compassion for it. Compassion? You really think I feel anything for these fungi? Hania, you grew up listening to terrible tales about the horrors of fungi. Paimon completely understands how they made you feel. But that doesn't mean that you should just treat a buddy who stands by you here as your arch enemy. You won't be able to lie to yourself forever. We fight off fierce fungi all the time, and we always used to think of them as monsters too. The whole reason we entered this tournament is because we didn't want fungi causing any trouble. But after meeting Bongo Head, we realized that if you just give them some time and treat them well, the gentler fungi will get to know you and treat you like their friends. At the very least, treat fungi like they're on your side. Not as your pawns and certainly not as your enemies. Please, learn to trust Pyro One and your other fungi friends. Enough! Don't patronize me. In case you've forgotten, this match isn't over yet. <laughs> Pyro One, release! 
release the explosion! Just before the most important step of all, I failed. You two, you were the only ones who could stop me. But how, when your mindset is so childish? Hania, as we agreed, you have to hear us out now that we've won. But let's put that aside for now. Can we bring Pyro-1 along for the ultimate trial? Pyro-1? You want to take it with you? Yep. We want to pass the ultimate trial with everyone's fungi side by side! Bongo Head, Twirly Whirly, Blitzara, and Pyro-1! We looked through your notebook that day after we spoke to you, and it cleared up a lot of things. You're right to be concerned about the dangers of fungi, up to a point. Wisdom orbs come with health risks to some people. This tournament shouldn't have been promoted so widely, and there are limits to how closely fungi and humans can coexist in general. However, by making constant improvements to the wisdom orb and using it for friendly communication with the fungi, we can figure out which are the nice ones and gradually learn more about them. Fine, if that's what you want. I lost, so I don't get to call the shots. And I guess Pyro One would rather be with someone who actually cares about it. Cheer up, Hania. Paimon's sure you mean a lot to Pyro One. Uh, we have more important stuff we gotta tell you after the ultimate trial. That's right! You'll see things differently after you know the story. Paimon just knows it... I just had to say, what a magnificent duel. A battle between competing philosophies, as well as a showdown between two top beast tamers. Elhingen? What are you doing in the arena? Why, I'm here to witness the final duel, and the winner's spectacular performance in the ultimate trial. How could I possibly miss such a milestone moment in this tournament's history? Come now. Traveler, Paimon, it's time to prove yourselves. I have no doubt that you'll play a significant role in bringing this tournament to a whole new level.
The Traveler is correct. <laughs> Nothing gets past you, does it? In which case, I presume you planned for this eventuality, no? Wait, this is all wrong! Isn't this the ultimate trial? Kaltoya's supposed to be the villain! He was just using this tournament for his own agenda and he tricked you into sponsoring him! Hmm, not far off. You're right about Kautilia's motivations. This started when he discovered a promising use for a forgotten technology. So I bought his loyalty and organized this tournament to expand the reach of his technology. Though I must say, I never expected a prize catch like yourself to take the bait so eagerly. So, you weren't being fooled by Cautilia. It was you using him! This whole time you were just another lousy Fatui! Oh, now Paimon's mad! So much for warning you about Cautilia! Finally, get him! Oh, look at you! <laughs> I've got chills down my spine. But I'm afraid that's not happening. Whirly, whirly, Blitzara, Pyro Wang, what's going on? Kautilia added a handy little back door in the wisdom orbs. As soon as I send the command, all fungi under their control report to me instead. So, this whole tournament. It was just an elaborate ploy to get other people to capture Fungi for you! And now you're gonna make them all into your evil minions! Very impressive. <laughs> you hit all the key notes there. I hold the tournament a few times, build up an army of Fungi living amongst the people, and then I can create all kinds of damage. You have to understand, this is a huge opportunity for me. My accomplishments will eclipse those of my other comrades. And then, my dear Master Dottore, who left because of you, will finally realize that I can still be worth something to him. But now... I think I might go one step further. Getting rid of you would be doing a major service for all the Fatui. From the foot soldiers to the harbingers. <laughs> this could be a career-making moment for me. I'll finally earn Master Dottore's respect. I'll just say it was a, a tragic accident. You placed too much trust in the fungi. Tried to push past the limits ended up causing the whole arena to collapse, with you still inside. Once this domain sealed off, no one will ever find you. I'll have Cautilia assume all liability and criminal charges, then inform the Academia. After that, I'll invest even more into this tournament, in the name of honoring your memory. I'll promote it harder. The competitions will be bigger and more frequent. You selfish double crashing monster! How could you? Paimons are just about enough from you, mister! You'll never get away with this! But what are we gonna do? You don't have any weapons on you, and our shroom buddies won't respond to us anymore! Take your time. Pit fungi against fungi, and warriors against warriors. I want the Traveler to see his buddy being destroyed. Then, once his faith is utterly shattered, put him out of his misery, quickly and painlessly. I accept that our actions thus far have not been uh, beyond reproach. But at least we can give the Traveler the ceremonious final farewell that they deserve.
This isn't right. I've activated the backdoor command three times now on the floating hydrofungus. Why is it still obeying the Traveler? Is Caltilia's device malfunctioning? Oh dear, the poor thing still hasn't realized. The technology in the Wisdom Orb does make fungi more obedient to their beast tamers, but all it does to achieve this is suppress some of their basic instincts, allowing them to communicate with their owner as effectively as any other animal. The trust that these four fungi place in their beast tamers, and the bond they now share, have grown stronger than the Wisdom Orb. Yai, Miko! Y you broke the domain ceiling spell? <laughs> Please! You thought your crude replicas could keep me out? You appear to have woefully underestimated who you're dealing with. Not to mention that shoddily designed backdoor command. Did you honestly believe that no one would notice the litany of vulnerabilities in your grand plan? Curses! Miko! Leila! And Hania too! Oh, hang in. So this was all you're doing? Whatever threat the fungi might pose, your nefarious ambitions are the true menace here! Come on, Miss Yai. Uh, let's go help them. Easy now, Layla. All that's left for us to do now is to watch and wait. The bond of companionship is not something so easily severed by the designs or devices of humans. Blitzara, you haven't completed your mission yet. You're not thinking of giving up now, are you? Is this the moment Miss Yai said we were waiting for? Twirly Whirly, I believe in you! Take this crook down. <laughs> the backdoor command is wearing off! They're all returning to normal! Still doubting what your heart tells you, Hania? You're afraid. Afraid to accept that the fungus you treated as a pawn now trusts you completely. Because then you'll be forced to face your true feelings, which you have been trying so desperately to escape from. But don't keep your fungus waiting much longer. Look, now that it's no longer under the Wisdom Orb's control, it's waiting for your orders. Pyro One, are you really waiting for me? I'm sorry. I've been so harsh on you, but you still trust me. Go. Do what you have to do. Well, one way or another, it looks like all the fungi have returned to their senses! Great! Shame on you, Elhingen! You're about to pay for what you've done! Hold the line! And keep your heads! They're just a handful of fungi! We still have the upper hand! That's it. Have a look at this. The brain's the bigger kiss.
was well done! <laughs> By a few measly fungi? <laughs> this is absurd! Miko! Why didn't you stab him? Hmm? Oh, I'm just a tourist. As far as I'm aware, I don't have the authority to detain anybody within Sumeru's borders. Is that not the case for you, too? Still, you needn't worry. He won't escape. You'll see once you get back to the tournament arena. Ah, oh, cryptic. Well, no time to figure that one out. On with the chase! By order of the General Mahamatra, we're here to arrest Elhingen for grave crimes and Kautilia for academic misconduct. The General Mahamatra has been watching Kautilia closely for some time. He's busy dealing with other affairs today, so he couldn't find the time to apprehend the offenders himself. Thankfully, with all the evidence you gathered, we were able to swiftly bring this case to a conclusion. <sighs> the General Mahamatra wrote a letter for the two of you. Please, take a look. Sino's missive X. Overview. Prior to the General Mahamatra's return to his post, the Matra were starting to suspect that Caudalia was up to something. Caudalia had Elchingen partner up with him, keeping the most important evidence hidden. 
If it weren't for the traveler and payment's help in providing crucial evidence, the matra might have spent a longer time investigating the duo's actions. The wisdom orb and floral jelly were indeed derived from the capturing device and withering potion. The latter two share similarities to the omni ubiquity net from Inazuma, which originates from Liu's Adeptus Arts. Therefore, one could say the two technologies are based on solid references. However, the capturing device and withering potion aren't thoroughly validated due to insufficient development time. They're experimental items created by amateur researchers for control controlling dangerous creatures. These items once resulted in a horrific accident, and therefore should no doubt be locked away forever. Cardalia made use of his status and Elchingen's funds to bribe relevant personnel. He obtained samples and documentation, then hired a few talented students to work on enhancing the two products. By making them safer and more reliable, Cardalia would eat luck, then use this tournament as a cover for his true intentions. Sino's missive, then use this tournament as a cover for his true intentions, causing damage in Subaru. The match rounded up another group of amateur scholars to develop a countermeasure that targeted Cardalia's backdoor command. They planted it into specific wisdom orbs and handed them out to the Matra on shift at the arena. If anything happens, the countermeasure would be put to use. Fortunately, everything went smoothly with the tournament. No one was hurt, and there were no property losses. The tournament even brought financial gain to Port Ormos. As of now, all involved personnel within the Academia have been detained. They shall face just judgment. Saito, leader of this operation, has confirmed all locations of interest. Criminals at large are highly likely to show up around these areas. The core of 30 can acquire them with no more than a limited number of people. As for Elchingen, the results of the initial investigation reveals that 60% of his sponsor funds came from illegal sources. The rest were his business earnings in Sumeru. Because this Fatui informant is quite a complicated case, the Akemia will arrange for specialized personnel to deal with this matter. Traveler and payment. I have included Saito's report at the front of this letter. Take a look if you're interested. It may help you understand the situation better. The enthusiastic participants and audience do not deserve to be deceived like this. I will be using Elchingen's business earnings as prize money for the participants and compensation for other relevant people. If the funds are not enough, the extra amount will be included in Cardalia's fine. The Beast Tamers tournament has a positive influence and might become as well known as Genius Invocation TCG, so it doesn't need to discontinue just because of two schemers. In the eyes of the general public, you two have taken over as the hosts of this event. Please don't worry too much. I trust that you'll arrange for things accordingly for things accordingly. Lastly, please say hello to Guji Yi on my behalf. If the chance arises, I would like to spar with her in a duel. I hope she'll not be very against some powerful decks with certain styles. So Sino has been keeping an eye on this competition too! He and his people must have been secretly investigating at the same time we were! Lucky we had some backup! All right, we'll take the suspects away now. The area will be unattended while we're gone, but with you here, I can put my mind at ease. You might think this is over, but mark my words! You haven't seen the last of me, or Master Dottore! Loser! Have fun in prison, you Fatui lowlife! Wait! Sino mentioned that he used our evidence, so... Is that where Miko was going after the last 16? To hand it in and make a report? Oh, please, spare me that look. I didn't sign up for any of this. I'm supposed to be having a nice vacation, but all sorts of vexing issues keep managing to find their way to me. After the round of 16, I simply took a walk around Sumeru City with my editors. I did have a very brief conversation with the General Mahamatra, but only because he happened to be passing by at the time. The evidence you gathered was the key to solving this case. Uh, the more you try playing it down, the more confusing it all sounds. Um, anyway, now that the organizer and the sponsor have both been arrested, what should we do about the fungi in this tournament? The rules still stand. These little ones won the tournament and passed the ultimate trial, which means they'll be taking Elhingen and Kautilia's place. From now on, everything about this tournament will be up to these two to decide. And after all the experience they've gained, I'm sure they are more than up to the task. 
Lady Kitsune told me everything. The fungi that attacked my ancestors were out of control because they'd gone berserk. Everything I thought I knew about the fungi was based on a misunderstanding. I took it all much too far. Huh? We didn't get to say anything! Miko, why did you have to steal our thunder? <laughs> if by that you mean, thank you, Miko, then you're welcome. Hania needed a little pep talk to perk her up so that she would join us in taking a stand against Elhingen. How else was I supposed to motivate her? You don't have to say anymore. I was too close-minded. I know that now. I kept telling myself the same things, lying to myself until I became numb. But now I've seen the truth with my own eyes. Even without the Wisdom Orb, Pyro One willingly followed my instruction. It trusted me all along. I hold my hands up. I was wrong. You're well within your rights to criticize me. And I accept whatever punishment you deem appropriate. Punishment? What do you take us for? Sure you said some pretty scary things, and you were way too strict with Pyro One, but clearly you've already learned your lesson. Wait, actually, having said that, Paimon has an idea! Let's go tell everyone else what we came up with! Ahem! Oh, this is Paimon's first time speaking to so many people from a stage like this! Oh, Paimon's getting butterflies! Paimon and the Traveler are super happy that we were lucky enough to win this tournament and even expose a criminal conspiracy while we were at it! The responsibility for continuing to hold this tournament in the future now lies in our hands. Now, they may have thrown the organizer and the sponsor in jail, but you can all breathe a huge sigh of relief because the prizes are still being issued as promised! Yes! That's what I'm talking about! And that's a good call. However, unfortunately, the Wisdom Orbs currently have a harmful effect on their surrounding environment, so they pose a risk to people's health. This means that we won't be able to keep our fungi friends around for the long term. So, for the sake of everyone's well-being, over the coming days, we recommend that everyone entrust their fungi into the care of the best darn beast tamer in town, Hania! But you won't be away from them for too long. While Hania takes care of your fungi, we'll be talking to the Academia with the goal of trying to resolve the current issues with the Wisdom Orb as soon as possible. And of course, this tournament was so much fun. It'd be a real shame if it was a one-off affair. I'm unsure you've got a big appetite for more fungi fun and games. So once the technical issues are all sorted out, and we're all reunited with our fungi friends, let's battle it out all over again! Oh, so that's my punishment. Think of it more as a reward for being the runner-up. Don't think of it that way, Miss Hania. Spending time with shroom buddies is actually really fun. Uh, right, Twirly Whirly? I'm gonna miss you, Twirly Whirly. Take good care of my best shroom buddy. Oh. Traveler, Paimon, <laughs> Layla, and Lady Kitsune. What can I say? You're a fascinating bunch. Come on, Hania! We announced the official decision with everyone watching. You better look alive! <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I get it. As a beast tamer, I accept your proposal. I will do my utmost to care for these fungi and treat them like the treasured companions that they are to their masters. <laughs> now those sound like the words of an awesome person called Hania that Paima wants to be friends with. Just wish she 
she'd shown us this honey as sooner. Anyway, let's spend some final quality time with our shroom buddies. Then we'll all meet up in Port Ormos. <laughs>